So we were contacted, uh, we've been in uh, obviously constant communication in regard to the Cedar Haven sale uh, with the buyer's attorney, um, revising documents, things like that over the past two weeks in anticipation of the potential settlement date for this Friday, uh, which was their, uh, the extension that they uh, paid us a $1 million option to move it to December 19th. Uh, they informed us yesterday that uh, in coordination with their lender, they would like to move settlement to the 23rd. They're going to be paying, wiring us the additional $500,000 option price to do that, to move settlement officially to the 26th, but they're indicating the 23rd is now the date that their lender will be funding settlement and that everything should move forward. So otherwise, again, everything appears to be in order. I bring to you today a, a stack of documents for your signatures um, that are often, uh, in my opinion, redundant, but at the same time, they're, what their lender and the title company is asking for, for us to sign off on the transaction. Again, everything else uh, appears to be moving forward at, at the pace and rate at which we would expect. Uh, all the documents I have in front of me are in their final form that we would recommend that you would sign. Um, and everything else, uh, again, should occur actual. We would hold all these documents, again, until the 23rd when the deal is funded, uh, and then we would transfer them to them for their signatures as well. Uh, that there won't be an official kind of real estate settlement as you might expect with a residential purchase where everyone sits around the same table uh, given the locations of, of everyone involved but we would uh, forward documents uh, via email and UPS FedEx uh, overnighting them back and forth so that all those original signatures will move around and the money should be wired to the county on the 23rd. Do we need a motion for an official action this morning? We've, we've taken a lot of motions, and they sometimes ask for them again. I, I don't have any problem. I don't, I don't think it's really required. Again, I, I, have, I can just review for you briefly here the documents I have um, that we can sign after the meeting, but uh, it is the deed again in a slightly revised form uh, for how they, again, just generally like it written, which, again, uh, myself and Tim Huber are fine with the language and the way it's being written here. Uh, and then a series of uh, basically assurances to them that we have it in, in any other way, that there's no other liens, encumbrances on the property. We've done nothing else that would otherwise cause them to have a title problem with the property. Uh, otherwise, approving the transfer of the elder care and Renova leases to the entity name that they've created for the, uh, the purchase of the real estate, uh, which they just created an LLC for that, um, and some other affidavits and representations as to all the documents that we're signing, that, that you all have the legal authority to sign them on behalf of the county and, and all those things. Um, so again, nothing out of the ordinary, I think here, again, uh, if you read all of them in their entire detail, they would often be repetitive and redundant in my opinion, but otherwise, uh, we would recommend them for your execution.